Now, I want to show you guys uh, a little thing I just made that's going to help a lot. Uh, I'm going to expand on it and make two of these, but I just tried this out on this. Uh, this is a throttle body for a 1994 uh, Chevy Silverado, throttle body injected. Uh, this, is the, this was sent in by, uh, by Larry Owens, okay, from uh, Albemarle. Of Moore, North Carolina. Man, he did a beautiful job. He did a beautiful job. Larry, thank you very much. He did a beautiful job packaging this. Uh, it's an easy and really nice, beautiful, 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 wonderful job. All right, now, what I'm going to show you here, guys, uh, this is a couple of little gadgets I made. Okay, see this here? Okay. All right. And this right here. Now, they're both custom made for this. Now, I'm going to make this into a double to match this, but I'm going to show you what I did. What I did was I first took this piece right here, okay, and I, I cut a thin strip, a thin strip out of flashing, right, and I curled it a little bit larger than the opening was, and then what I did is I, I laid it in there, and you see that mark on there? Wherever the axle touched it, I took my Dremel shaping tool, and I just made a little round cutout, and I just slide it in here like so. Okay, the whole purpose of this is to give us a, a brace for it, and then we just walk, look in there and see where, uh-oh. Okay, gauge man land. <laughs> so, right, here it goes. Put it in there like that. Okay, make sure it's down at the axle. Push it down in there. That's all you gotta do. Just make it in there and just push it in. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then you've got a nice solid backdrop here for your for your epoxy. Then, in order to make to keep it in the right shape, what I did to keep it from falling out was I made this cut out. I just look at it, and I just slide up there like that, and I hold that in place until the JB Weld dried, okay? Or actually, just so it started setting up. Then once it hardened enough, and I used the stuff that was on my mixing board here to check to see whether it was tight enough. And when it was tight enough, I just gave this little thing a little yank like that and pulled it off of there. And then uh, when it came time to remove this piece, uh, which I wanted to wait a little while longer, because you, you don't want to pull it loose from back here, so you want the, the JB Weld to harden up real quick. But what all you do is you just take and you just peel it just a little bit like that. I'm sorry, peel it just a little bit like that and just roll it right out of there. Then make sure that if you use this method, be sure that you clean the JB weld off after you remove it before it gets too hard or you won't be able to use it very long. Um, anyway, then I took a drill bit, a 1 8 inch drill in my Dremel. Okay, that's it. That's all it was. Took that, used it like a router and, and just held it up like this and then went down in and just cut my trench out here and then cut the trench out this way. And the purpose of this is to get the idle air pathway open, leave it open some, but really you want it directed above where the groove goes because here's where the groove is. And then with the air dumping in here, it killed the wave. Not only that, but you could only put in that much the groove from there to there and you lost 25% of your throttle plate opening on both sides. So this has to be sealed, and that's how I opened it up, okay? So I, I hope that helps you all out. <laughs> I know it's causing some really good results. We'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.